Well, it happened again. We have another grounding in the uh, Suez Canal. So here we have a photo of the one Orpheus. It uh, kind of ran into this bridge right here. See the blue thing? And I'll show you a map of what the area looks like. But this is a, a swivel bridge which connects both sides of the canal to a road. And then this uh, one Orpheus, I think, had a mechanical issue and went right into the bridge, did some major damage to the bridge and maybe to the, um, the bow hall underneath here, the, you know, the bow thing. I forget what they call it. Uh, and probably some damage to it. So we'll see what's going on. Let's jump into it. So container ship one Orpheus refloated in the Suez Canal after it was grounded. Uh, grounded after its grounding. So the one Orpheus is back underway. So this is the update. After being refloated by tugs in the Suez Canal, AIS data shows she was aground for about five hours. I'm going to show you that as well, where she's at now. But what they've done in the Suez Canal, they actually have more uh, of these large tugboats for uh, to handle such a such an occasion like the last time when they had the grounding and it, it kind of just brought the Suez Canal uh, to its knees. So here we go. This is good. So they got it out of there in five hours. This is Cairo. A container ship collided with the floating bridge, which pivots in an eastern lane of the Suez Canal. There's two lanes, and we'll show the map on Wednesday. But the passage of ships through the waterway would not be interrupted. Uh, this, this SCA, the Suez Canal Authority, said tugboats were working to tow the one Orpheus, which suffered a fault with its rudder. Yeah, that's kind of bad. While transiting the canal on its way from Singapore to the Netherlands, the authority said in a statement. Okay, so yeah, losing your rudder in a canal is never a good thing, especially near a floating bridge. Let's see. Uh, yeah, bad things can happen. The incident occurred in the eastern lane of the middle section of the canal built as an expansion that was completed in 2015. I can't read that. It says one Orpheus. And here's some more of the pictures. Let's, I wonder if I can zoom in here. Yeah, you can see it right here. And there it hit the bridge on the right. <clears throat> and this photo here is from the tugboat. And then there's the bridge again. Boat hitting the bridge. Let's see, convoys of ships coming from the south are being diverted along the original branch of the canal. All right, they did some diversion work there. Uh, work is currently underway to expand the southern single lane section of the canal after a giant con container ship ran aground there in 2021. You remember that one? Uh, and that one blocked the uh, traffic, the waterway for six days. So this one was in the two lane part. So at least one lane was kind of still open. So let's jump over to some visuals here. Blammo. All right, we have the uh, one Orpheus. We can look at some marine traffic to see where is she is at right now. And I'll show you where she uh, actually hit the bridge. So click on that. All right, you can kind of see she started in Singapore. And her destination is the Netherlands, the Rotterdam. So that's where she's headed. Uh, yeah, you can see all the other stuff. Okay, let's see. One Orpheus cargo container ship. Uh, let's go over here. I'm trying to find out the nearby vessels. All right, here we go. Position received at, wow, UTC plus 2.0405, two minutes ago. So let's see where she's at. Let's go click on the live map. Oh, here's her status. She is at anchor right there. AIS source. Uh, AIS is a uh, mobile, mobile marine uh, tracking of ships. And you can see nearby vessels as well. The wind is seven knots currently. Okay. 18 Celsius. So let's see what she looks like on the map. This is kind of cool stuff where you can actually track all the shipping in the world. All right, there she is, one Orpheus. There's the photo. SGSIN. She's going from Singapore to Rotterdam, Netherlands. And she's not quite there, obviously. But you can pay some money in. Oh, no. Okay, distance travel. Time. Okay, pass track. Use rat. All right, there's that. Let's put her up here. Let's get that out of the way. Come on, buddy. 
So she is right here now. Let's. I just broke it. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the map. Show on the map. Do, 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 do. One Orpheus. Okay, she's right here. One Orpheus. She's uh, sitting at zero knots and that's position four minutes ago. We'll zoom out. She is sitting in the right out side of the Suez Canal at anchor. And you can see, look at all the traffic coming in and out of that Suez Canal. It's just, it's just like a freaking highway. All right, out too far. Let's show you where she kind of ran aground after she lost her rudder. And I hope I have the right spot here. Oh, let me look. Is that the right spot? Now there was a lake. I think that's it right there. Yeah, I think it's right at... Because you see it got the single lane coming in. This is where the one happened in 2021. Clogged that whole thing up in the Suez Canal. You come out here, and then there's this uh, bitter lake where they kind of queue up. You can see them going through there. So here is a um, port right here. Let me zoom in. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Ah, I went too far. So over here in this Abu Zaid Hassan area, they have a lot of the uh, tugboats, right? Yeah, sh uh, ship owners, uh, so that's a business, okay. But in this, you know, let me see if I zoom in enough, it usually tells you. I'm going to break it if I zoom in too much. Oh, let's go to ships, hold on. Vessels, boom. Of course, I did the wrong one. There's the Orpheus. Click on that, and we know where she's at. Let's just go back. Let's go to the live map. That thing, that's pretty much going to show me. All right, again, she's out at anchor, zero knots. Let's go back out. I don't want to go too far. This thing goes crazy on me. You can see the traffic right now. It's one more. Yeah, we go. So it goes from two lanes out right there, then it joins to one lane, and then you got the two lane split, and then you got the staging area right here, and then. Oh, that's where. It, yeah, there we go. There's Great Bitter Lake. You come up two lanes, and then there's this one. This is where it was. Yeah, in here. You get them can highlight some of these. So this is where most, this is, yeah, tugs and special craft. So this is probably where the tugs are located for such an emergency, some of them. And what happened, she was over in this area. I don't know if I can see the road. Yeah, I'm looking for that. Hold on, I'm zooming in on this. It was right in this area. There's a bridge that crossed. I don't have the satellite view. That might be the marker for the bridge. But yeah, she was right up from this, this uh, staging area. Again, it didn't close the other, the other lane. So you can see right, yeah, I think it was right in here. So they could just come over. It's funny how it's joined like that. So they could just come over. That's probably what I mean. it took five hours to get her free and get her on her way or tug, towed out of there into the, uh, into the, uh, the med, right? Let's see. Yeah, they, man, they had to tug it all the way up through there. Wow. So let's see. Out past there. Yeah, let's, I'm going to zoom out a bit. Wow, look at that. Look at all that boat traffic. Yeah, out into the med area. You can see there she is right now. But this gives you an idea what is happening in this canal. It's massive, all the traffic, and they stage right there. Yeah, I want to see. I want to check this out. Actually, here we go. I got it right here. Hold on. 
So Great Bitter Lake, you stage, this makes more sense. So you come up, stage right here. This is probably where the bridge is, see the road? And then they have a swivel bridge. And then that bridge was open. And then you can kind of see right here. Let's go back up. This is the bridge. And it was in the obviously open position and it just rammed right into it. So let's go back. And then yeah, that's the road connecting it. So it was right here. So the uh, tugs had to come either up or down from their from their positions. Yeah, they're probably in here as well. I don't know, obviously. I just know this one up here. Either way, it's not equal distance. They came down probably from here. Tied her up. Towed her out. And now, like you saw. Oh my god, they that's pretty far, man. They towed her all the way. All the way up here to this spot right here. So they probably got her, they probably got the um one Orpheus free pretty quickly. It's just the amount of damage right here to this bridge. Nobody knows how long that's gonna take to repair, but you can see how narrow that is. Each lane is I mean it's wide enough, obviously, for the ships. But uh yeah. Once you lose your rudder, you're gonna hit something. So let's see what else is going on. Uh, yeah, there you go. Thought this was interesting. Go check it out. This is on, oh, just search for it. One Orpheus. You'll see a lot of articles on it. Uh, and the map's kind of cool to see what's going on over there. You can monitor live traffic. Look at all the feeds going into that canal. Look at that. Nice and spaced out. Yeah, shipping's pretty cool, guys. Check it out. Anyway, that's all I got. I thought I reported on this. I thought it was interesting to see that it kind of happened again, but not as bad as the one in 2021, because that one was down here, I think, in the one lane part. Look how backed up they are. Look how they queue up. Oh my God. These are all waiting to get up through the canal. Woo. All right. What do you guys think? Post comments below. Let me know what you think. I'm out. Take care.